Hello everybody, Mr. Porkchop Boy here, and uh, I haven't made a video in a little bit, a uh, little, little while, and um, <clears throat> today um, I'm still on winter break from uh, college, so uh, I'm at my girlfriend's house right now, and she's uh, at work right now. So um, I have a Zippo to review, and uh, I'll probably be putting another video up uh, later today or uh, probably later on in the week of another Zippo, Zippo I got. So the first one is one I got from Walmart. Um, it's just the basic, it's the uh, classic satin chrome. Nothing special about it. You can see it's not even in a box. It's just um, in the Zippo sleeve. So has the warranty, the guarantee here. Uh, as of you probably all know, it has uh, in here some other products by Zippo. It also tells you how to fill your Zippo. Some warnings about it, and uh, some more warnings about it there. So uh, I have the paperwork for it, and then this is just like a plastic sleeve here, and that's that's all. Like this is what's inside of a box, but it didn't come with the box. So just take this out here. I have already opened it. I haven't put any fluid in it, so there's no sticker on there. But as you can see, with the light hitting it, it's uh, satin chrome. And the original price for this, like on the Zippo website, is $14.95. But I have my receipt here from Walmart. Walmart. And um, let me just fold this here just to show you exactly what it was. Hopefully you'll, you'll be able to see it. Because I, I had bought more things that day. But you can see there, Zippo, Chrome... And it says like the serial number, and then it says 437. So what had happened was, um, I went to Walmart. I bought a few board games because it was uh, around holiday time, and uh, I wanted to play some games with my girlfriend and her family and everything. So I went to buy a few game uh, board games, and when I went to the register to pay, um, there was the Zippo in this packaging, this one here, the only one that I saw there, and it was on the wrong rack. It was like on the wrong place. It wasn't supposed to be there. But uh, I had asked, like the manager was walking by, and I was like, is this 437? And he was like, yeah. So he rung me up, and he was like, okay. But I knew it wasn't going to be 437. I was just asking, figuring that it wasn't going to be. He was just going to tell me it was in the wrong place. But uh, no. So I figured it was going to cost me like 10, 11 bucks. I was going to get it anyway, um, just because I don't have a plain Zippo like this. Um, so I was going to get one anyway, and, uh, being that it was only 437, I'm surprised I didn't get two, knowing me, and I, I could have gotten two, actually, and, uh, given one to my girlfriend or something, but, um, <clears throat> I actually got one, it's right here, and, um, yeah, so, uh, on the Zippo website, I'll pull it up real quick, classic is, uh, 1495, and, uh, slide it over, see? So that's on the Zippo website, as you can come, as you can see there. And I'm recording this with my iPad Mini that I got for Christmas. Um, so it's just the basic Zippo, uh, as you see. I opened it already. I took the sticker off, the warning label, and uh, I I literally just took it off. And I was thinking, why not make a video of it? So I just there you go. So I took the sticker off. It's in the garbage. Uh, I'm probably going to end up using this for like a trick Zippo or something. But over here, I have my matte orange Zippo. And you can tell, but I have a review of this. This is actually my first Zippo. And you can see the difference. This is like a shiny. And then this is a matte color here. And this is my daily Zippo. I use this every day. And I love it. So the date on the Zippo is... J of 2013, and that's October of 2013, and as you can see there, it says Zippo, Bradford, PA, made in the USA, and the insert is actually also made in the same month and same year, so it was also made in October of 2013, there you go, and there is no uh, Zippo fluid in here, I never used it yet, um, Probably, like I said, end up using this as a uh, Zippo for tricks and stuff. And I won't really care if I drop it or 
it doesn't really matter because it's just a plain Zippo. I paid not even five bucks for it. So I'm um, really happy with this Zippo. Didn't pay, didn't even pay five bucks for it. Can't go wrong with it. Basic Zippo. If you're just starting to get into the zip into Zippo collecting or just you want a Zippo, this is the basic Zippo. Cheapest one that I've seen. And Walmart, um, they have them there. I think the usual price is like 10 bucks. So the, the Walmart, all the Walmarts I've been to, they're all like 10 bucks there. And they're always by the cash register. So, so you're just like, ooh, a Zippo. And you just grab it. And um, yeah, that's it's a great starter Zippo. Even though I didn't start with this, I started with the matte orange one that I showed before. Um, but still, it's it's not too flashy or anything. It's just a Zippo. Even though they have ones with designs, I have those at home, but um, I like it plain, keeps it simple. I really like that. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, I hope you did. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, there will be more videos coming soon. I'll actually be putting another video up really soon. I'm probably going to end up recording it later on today, if not. Ooh, I almost just dropped it. Uh, probably end up recording that later on today, if not like right after this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned because I have a giveaway coming up very, 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 very soon. Uh, so yeah, just stay tuned and um, subscribe if you're not already. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.